Hey guys, Vertigo Electric here, and this is Hotel Majestic Playable Teaser from Game Jolt. And before I start, I just want to lament about my previous recording, which uh, in which I played a game from Game Jolt. It was kind of interesting, and um, my mic recording was all messed up, staticky, or whatever. So I made some adjustments, and I shouldn't have that problem now, but it's really made me consider seriously getting a new microphone I've been using a really uh, I mean the one I aside from that issue that is rare I don't usually have any problems with this with this microphone and it's a really old like desktop bendable neck my uh, mic that just most people wouldn't use for that kind of thing. Anyway, I might try to get one. I have an Amazon card I can use. I don't, I can't just afford to up and buy stuff like that, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, Hotel Majestic Playable Teaser. How about I quit yammering and press enter to start? This is listed as complete. Oh, it does say there's brief nudity, so I, I don't know how brief or how nude it is, but, uh,. Let's hope it's not uh, an issue. So, that is a very, like, uh, what's the word I was going to, I don't know what word I was going to use for this rug. It looks like painted grass or something. Anyway, so... I'm pretty sure I've seen this painting in maybe Layers of Fear or some other horror game or whatever. This is supposed to be a horror game, so. Prepare to be horrored. Alright, WASD to move. Left click for action and right click click for zoom. Oh, there's the there's the brief nudity right there. And well. Oh, can't open the door. Of course I can't. Why can't I leave the room? Oh. Huh. 216. Room 216. I want in! Is this the exit? 213. Oh, there's text at the bottom. Where is everyone? Yeah, where is everyone? Why is it so dark and gloomy? Like, look how dark this... Oh. Was that supposed to happen just now? What? Is that supposed to be like that effect where... Like when you come outside from a movie theater and your eyes have to adjust? Look at that. Oh man, I don't know if I like that. Guess I'll just keep checking all the doors. Uh, not a lot happening so far. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, thank you. Hold on, I gotta check this last door. And then I'll come back. Oh, see, I'm glad I did. Happy New Year, 1962. Maybe maybe going in that other dark room was a, a trap. What in the world? The lighting is a bit bizarre in my opinion. Ooh. Well now I just want a steak. Dang it. I want a steak. Oh no, I want some Malibu chicken from Sizzler. Mmm. 
for those of you who aren't familiar with what a Malibu chicken from Sizzler is, Sizzler's a restaurant here where I live, and um, I don't know how widespread they are, so I don't know. And one of their entrees is uh, Malibu chicken, which is a uh, lightly breaded or battered, I think it's battered, or maybe a little both, uh, chicken with uh, some sliced ham and melted Swiss cheese atop it. And they serve it with a, a sauce, which is mostly just a mix of mayo and mustard. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's, it's amazing. I'm going to go in the dark room and walk in backwards because it's so dark. Is there a light switch? Oh, there it. There's not. But I activated it anyway. How <laughs> did? Okay. Or maybe it wasn't anything I did. It was just a time thing and coincidence. Who knows? Oh, look at some of these pictures, though. These are these are all like these. Pictures are all so familiar. That lamp is on the ground. <laughs> oh, I'm so observant. And these chairs are red. Okay, um, desk. No. Bed? I tried these. It's not, they don't do anything. I can't seem to interact with anything in here. What does the description say? Uh, I, I need a f After the, the beginning of the celebration of the new year, you got drunk outside a strong snowstorm I isolated the hotel from the rest of the world. That's not written properly, but whatever. I get the idea. You wake up in your room and notice that the hotel is quiet, too quiet. Although now is the time of celebration, you need to find out what happened. Alright, so that's why I'm like, oh, where's everybody? Okay. Well. Where is everybody? I love how uh, whenever I play these games and I check the doors, I I click multiple times. Like that's gonna make any difference. Uh, well, sometimes it seems to. So oh, that's right. I haven't gone down here yet. Duh. There's no sprint. Or Verizon or T-Mobile or AT&T. There was an ominous sound just now. Some ominous ambient. Ooh, this is that is a pretty scene right there. Like this right here. I would like to use as my thumbnail. Maybe. Maybe. Gorgeous piano. I've always wanted to. Uh, one of one of my bucket list items I guess you could say is to to own a grand piano yeah but then I grew up got married got a mortgage and now I realize that that's not a very feasible goal for me anyway who knows I might I might maybe I can find a used one or something. Uh, as we slowly walk, oh, there's another door here. I can't even, s you barely see it because it's so dark. Yeah, the lighting is strange. 
I have a feeling there's something I missed in that piano room. Everything is locked. Everything is locked. Everything is locked. Some of these pictures are kind of bizarre. Like I'm not sure what this one right here is supposed to be. Like what's that? What's the... I just don't know. Make sure I just check all the doors again, just in case. Uh, I th I'll check the piano room again. Oh wait, here's a new place. Masquerade Ball 1962. Can I go in here? No. I'm too fat. I can't fit in there. Ooh, this is like a banquet room or dining hall or banquet hall or dining room or something like that. Well, that was creepy. I'm going to back in because I can't see. Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Goodbye, light. Or, well, maybe not. It's so dark. I can't... Oh, wait. Is there a light switch? Or, oh, the door? I don't close the door, which has light. What the... I'm going to open it. I can't I can't see anything I heard see there's a there's a door over here I can't open All right, I'm getting out of here is... so speaking of light my wife and I watched the uh, death note live action movie recently released on Netflix uh, because we both really enjoyed the anime and in comparison to the anime it was pretty disappointing um, now obviously it's always hard to cram a 37 episode series into like an hour, I think it was an hour and 40 minute movie. But even even that being considered, it just it just didn't it didn't feel right. The main character was just not I didn't feel like he was a good actor. And in some of the some of his scenes, it, it, it was just it was just kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was it was kind of disappointing. Now, if you watch it and have never seen the anime. You know, here's my concern. Here's here's what I'm a little worried about. The anime is amazing. It's great. I would hate to think that somebody would see the movie and because of its subpar uh, um, everything, 
I, I, I wouldn't want them to that have to have their effect uh, affect their um, I'm not saying this right I wouldn't want that to make them not want to see the anime because they think it's like the movie I mean the overall premise the plot is essentially the same but man they just did some really weird stuff Does this have an ending? I don't know if this game has an ending, guys. This is just a teaser after all. Alright, if I can't find anything new going down this hallway, then I'm... I'm going to stop. Because... I just don't want to keep wandering around wandering around aimlessly shaking doors oh I I saw I could walk on the furniture that's a interesting development as long as I as long as I start with a chair <laughs> I can walk up on the chair okay well that's almost as interesting as it gets. So, all right, that's it, folks. So this is Hotel Majestic, a teaser for a real game, or a full game. Um, I don't know if the full game actually exists. Uh, I was just searching through different games, and this is what I found. Uh, and so, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, uh, don't forget to click that like button for me. I appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.